Welcome to Enjoy English School. 欢迎来到 Enjoy 英语学院 I'm Stevie and I'm Lori. Today we are looking at our composition lesson, and it's called a selfie tragedy. Hmm. You know what a tragedy is? 悲剧 Yeah, it's when something sad happens. A sad story. A a song that tells a sad story. And this is a a sad story about a selfie. <laughs> <笑>所以呢，今天来到我们看图作文的单元，那么要来作文的题目呢，中文的标题叫做呢，这个爱自拍，下一秒就悲剧了啊、哦。那么所以呢，到底是怎么一回事呢？我们赶快跟着 Steve 老师一起来边作文边看就知道了。Okay, so the story starts like this. One day, Sue went to a museum. Now, this is pretty easy. She went to the past tense of goes,、mm -hmm. right? So one day, Sue went to a museum. Hmm. So we come to the first picture. Ah, so in this picture, we see our main character Sue. So she is now in a museum. Since she liked to take selfies, she definitely wasn't going to miss the great chance to take pictures with the valuable works of art. All right. So,、mm -hmm. uh, since because because she liked, or we could say she loved to take selfies. Uh, she definitely, I mean, for sure,、mm. right? Wasn't, was not going to miss this chance, this great chance, to take pictures, to take selfies with the valuable works of art, like, like me taking pictures with,、uh, with Lori. <laughs> okay. OK， 好，所以呢，在我们来看看下一句啊、哦，这个刚刚我们已经演出了它的部分的这个重要的，就是拍自拍的这个大家都很熟悉的行为啊、哦。那我们看到第二句，他讲到说，因为啊，他呢喜欢呢这个拍自拍照哦，这个拍自拍，我们用这个动词呢 take， 然后加上 selfies 啊、哦，这个自拍照，那么来形成这个片语啊、哦、，take selfies。那么他呢，绝对的啊、哦，是完完全全的啊、哦，所以呢，刚刚。Steve 老师讲到 for sure 啊，他肯定是怎么样呢 ？Wasn't going to， 绝对不会啊。Miss the chance， 这里的 miss 它不是想念的意思，而是指错过。嗯，所以他不会错过这个机会。什么机会呢 ？To 后面告诉我们，去呢 take pictures。我们又再次看到了拍。呃，拍照的这个拍哦，这个动词 take 又再次出现，只是它后面换成 pictures 啊、哦，来拍照。那么跟什么拍照呢 ？With 后面告诉我们，跟这些非常珍贵的这个形容词叫 valuable 啊、哦，是从 value 来的，价值来的啊、哦，所以非常珍贵的 works of art 这个叫艺术作品啊、哦，所以这里的 work 不是工作，它是名词，嗯、那它指的是作品啊、哦，所以你看到它加了 s 复数，就是这个原因。So what happens? She spotted a beautiful vase. Now, when when we say she spotted something, that means you you see something. It catches your eye. Okay. Ooh, I spotted something. She spotted a beautiful vase that she wanted to snap a selfie with, in particular. Uh, in particular, here means especially.、Mm -hmm. Okay, it's like, ooh, that vase. I love that vase. I especially love that vase. I want to snap a selfie. And the reason we say snap when we say take a picture、mm -hmm. is because in old cameras,、uh, when you would push the button, it would go click, and we would say, or especially、uh, think about when you see on TV. Lots of photographers taking pictures of movie stars, and you hear that. Ch -ch -ch -ch, we call that a snap. This is also a snap. So it was kind of like click, 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 click.、Mm -hmm. And so to snap a picture means to take a picture quickly. That's right. Pay a quick job. Yeah.、Um, so she saw this beautiful vase that she wanted to、uh, 
uh, take a selfie or snap a selfie with. In particular, especially she liked this one more than the others. 嗯，没错。所以接下来呢，就讲到说了，那么他 spotted 啊，我们刚刚呢，这个 Steve 老师已经讲了，他看到某个东西抓住了他的注意力，他发现哦，他这个认出了啊，都可以啊，所以这里的 spot 它是当动词来用。那如果呢 ，spot 它当名词来用的话，其实我们也常常见到哦，它可以指这个呃斑点啊、污点，那或者是一个比如说呃这个地点都可以啊，像有时候你看到这个 on the spot 啊，这个当场。哦，怎么样？那就是这个时候 ，spot 就是当地点来用。那我们这里的话，句子里头把它当动词，所以他发现了一个漂亮的花瓶。怎么样的漂亮花瓶呢？是他特别的想要跟他来拍张自拍的花瓶。好，所以这里呢，注意到 in particular 这个呢是指特别的哦，就是刚刚 Steve 老师说的 especially 啊、哦。然后呢，这里的 snap a selfie 的 snap， 刚刚呢这个 Steve 老师也表演了哦，就是这种拍很快的拍照的这个拍下去的这个按的动作啊、哦，或者是刚刚表演弹指的动作都是 snap。这时候的 snap 是当动词啊、哦，它也可以当名词。嗯但是这里的话呢，它是取代了我们刚刚前面的 take selfies 的 take， 它帮你换一个动词啊、哦，所以用一个 snap。And we'll use that quite often.、Uh, Lori, can you help me snap a picture? 嗯哼，这个时候就是说，你可以帮我拍张照片嘛，而且是很快的意思。Yeah. 嗯、uh, ，So what's more, she planned to post the photos on Instagram immediately, right away. <laughs> And share them with her friends.、Uh, okay, here for a writing style, this writer he wants you to use what's more.、Mm. Okay,、uh, actually here we don't need that.、Mm -hmm. Okay, you could just say, oh, she she wanted to snap a selfie with this vase in particular.、Uh, she planned. You could say because she planned to do something.、Mm. You could also just say she planned to post the photos on Instagram right away or、mm. immediately.、Uh, but here, it's we're trying to add to the story,、mm. so we're telling you a part. She went to a museum.、Uh, she wasn't going to miss a chance to take pictures with all these valuable photos. She saw a beautiful vase. What's more, she wanted to share all of this on Instagram with her friends. Okay. So this is basically saying.、Um, also, she planned originally. That's、mm -hmm. why we say in、uh, use the past tense. She planned to post the photos on Instagram immediately and share them with her friends. 没错 ，which we all do. 嗯、mm, ，That's right. 啊，这个我们大家都是这样子的啊。好，所以呢，接下来他讲到说 ，What's more? 啊，此外啊，还有。哦，就是呢，他呢不是拍照完就好哦，所以当然呢，此外呢，他呢这个计划要，所以呢，他打算要的意思哦 ，planned 这里，那么 to post 这里的 post 呢，原本它的意思是指把一个什么东西张贴出来去公告哦，去公公开的意思。那么这里的话呢，其实就是我们后来大家都很熟悉的，在这个社群媒体上面，当你去发文的那个发哦，发照片的那个发，在英文里头你就又用 post 这个动词。嗯啊、哦，他打算要呢，在 Instagram 上面立刻的 immediately 立刻的哦，等于刚刚 Stevie 老师说的 right away 啊、哦，立刻的呢把照片给发上去，然后呢，跟跟这个朋友们来分享这些照片。这里的 share them with her friends 的 them 指的就是他拍的那些 selfies。You know what? I think I see a beautiful vase right here. We should take some pictures. Uh, maybe not. I think it's just coffee. <laughs> 好冷，嗯，好 ，Let's take a break. Okay, I need another pose. What? What's a good pose? <laughs> There is no good pose for you. <laughs> no. Um, I'm demonstrating the first sentence in the next paragraph. That's okay? right. Okay.、Mm -hmm. uh, because it says. She kept taking selfies and changing her poses. Okay, when you pose, this is a verb that we use、uh, when we say, "Okay, we want you to look a certain way."、Mm -hmm. Okay, when you pose for pictures, people always do the 
you know, the different smiles. Smile. Different angles. Smile. Wink. Eye. Hmm. You know, those are all different poses. Uh, if a model is modeling fashion mm -hmm. and they, you know, do a pose and they're doing like this. <laughs> <laughs> those are all poses. And we, so the, ver the noun is pose. And the verb is also pose. Mm -hmm. All right. So she kept taking selfies and changing her poses. Mm. 好，所以接下来我们来看到下面的图片了啊。这个第二章呢，在看到说呢，他就不断的拍自拍跟不断的改变姿势。这里的一直怎么样怎么样，我们会用一个 keep 后面加 verb i n g 啊 ，keep 这个 taking 跟 keep。changing 这样子的一个用法哦，那所以刚刚呢 ，Steve 老师已经表演出来了，他呢不断的在拍自拍的同时，而且一直在改变他的姿势。我们的姿势在这里 pose， 它是当成名词用哦，所以呢，因为一直改变姿势很多个，所以你看到 poses 它是复数的。那其实呢，你也可以这个 pose 去当动词用，那就是指摆出一个什么姿势， yep. 这样子的一个用法。And we'll see that one in the next sentence because it says. Uh, she was changing her poses, right? Mm -hmm. However, while posing for one shot, uh, she suddenly lost her balance and knocked over the vase. So she was posing for a shot, and she's like, "Oh, oh, oh, oh!" I'm going to knock over Lori. Sorry. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm a beautiful vase. I'm glad. <laughs> so she suddenly lost her balance. When we say Lose your balance. That means you suddenly your balance is your ping hung gun, right? When you lose your balance, it's like you're sitting there, and all of a sudden you go oh oh oh. It means you can't balance or stand up straight.、Mm -hmm. So when you lose your balance, you usually fall over. Okay. So she lost her balance. Oops! And knocked over the vase. We say knock. Like knock on wood, okay? We accidentally hit it, so we knocked it. We knock something over. So she knocked over a very expensive museum vase. Wow! And yes, sometimes you will hear people say vase,、mm -hmm. and that is also correct. 没错，那只是口音的不同。Yeah. 啊、哦，那个是 accent 的不同。Mm -hmm. 好的，所以接下来呢，我们看到接下来这句，他就讲到说，然而啊，就在他什么什么什么的时候。然后呢，另外一件事情发生了。这个时候呢，我们就会用 while 啊、哦。那么就在他呢，这个帮一张照片，他的准备要拍的下一张照片，在摆姿势的时候，所以这里的 posing 是当动词用了啊、哦。逗号的后面，同时发生什么事？他突然之间呢，这个失去了他的平衡，并且呢，撞倒了这个花瓶啊、哦。所以这里我们看到的 balance 是名词，指平衡的意思。所以呢，你可以 lose one's balance， 就是呢，失去。某个人的平衡，那换言之就是刚刚这个 Stevie 老师表演的，就会整个那个完全失去重心了。那有时候你会听到这个 off balance O F F 啊，或者是 out of balance 啊、嗯，这些都有可能看到。那指的都是失去平衡的意思啊。然后呢，这个 knock over 的这个 knock， 刚刚呢 Stevie 老师有表演是这个敲啊。那有时候你除了 knock something over 之外呢，你也有可能 knock against something。或者是 knock into something. Oh,、mm. 那这个时候就是撞到什么东西 You can also accidentally knock into somebody. Hmm. Or 这是另外一种 And when we hit our head,、mm -hmm. like if I hit my head on a, if I stand up and hit my head on a table, uh huh, and it goes kung. You hear that sound? We say, "Oh, I knocked my head." Ah,、uh, 这个时候的撞到就可以用 knock。Yeah, because it has that. 那个敲一声的声音。Yeah, so when you hit your head like that, ooh, I knocked my head. 没错，然后刚刚讲那个 knock into somebody 是指碰巧的遇见某人，对不对 ？No, no, no. When you when we say knock into somebody,、mm -hmm. it's like we were playing around and I went. Oh, oh, 撞到某人了。Sorry. Okay，、yeah. 那这个巧遇某人的话是另外一个是 bump into somebody. Yeah, that's、oh. bump into somebody because that's bump. 好，所以那个是我们有时候讲说巧遇某人的话，就可以这样用。Mm. All right. Yeah. So she knocked over the vase, right?、Mm -hmm. Oops. Okay. Not good for the vase.、Uh, the moment the vase broke into pieces, we could also say it shattered. 
S H A T T E R E D. Shattered. Psh. Okay, uh, the moment the vase broke into pieces, her face turned pale <sighs> with fear. She thought, oh no. I'm in trouble. Hmm, big trouble. <laughs> 所以呢，接下来这句就讲到说 ，the moment 怎么样，然后逗号点点点点点，就是一怎么样的时候呢，后面这件事跟着就发生了啊。Oh, 所以 the moment the vase broke into pieces 就是呢，就在花瓶它碎成一地。的这个瞬间，所以也等于刚刚讲的这个 shatter 啊、哦嗯，这个动词啊、哦，这个呃碎成一地、碎成一片的这个同时呢，他的脸呐、啊、已经呢带着恐惧的整个转白了啊、哦。这里的 pale 是苍白的意思啊、哦。那有时候你在别的地方看到，它可以指，比如说这个呃暗淡的，或者是呃微弱的，但是在这里的话是指整个脸色都变苍白了。然后 with fear 是因为恐惧，带着恐惧，整个变白了。In the end, she had to pay a huge sum of money、uh, in compensation. So, in the end, after all this happened, she had to pay a huge sum, a, a big amount, a lot of money in compensation. Compensate is the word, just a 补偿 right?、Uh, so she had to pay a lot of money to. Pay for that broken vase. Hmm. So, 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 Yep. 那这里他得要来赔这个花瓶。Right.、Mm. And she learned a painful lesson. Because yeah, that's a painful lesson. It's just like, ow. Okay. It is. Sorry, Stevie. You have to pay a million dollars for a broken vase.、Uh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's painful, right?、Mm. Um. So she learned a painful lesson and will probably think twice before snapping a selfie again. 嗯，所以最后就讲到说了啊，他呢，这个算是学到了这个非常惨痛的一课啊，叫 learn a painful lesson。然后呢，可能呢、啊，啊，这个 probably 只是可能而已，竟然不是一定哦、啊。可能呢，在下次再拍一次这个再拍自拍照的这个同时，或者是这个之前啊，应该要在这个三思。我们中文是三思啦，嗯、那那个英文里头是 think twice 啊，就是再想一遍，想两遍的意思， yeah. 这样。啊、哦，其实就是三思再行这样子。Okay, now let's have a, a little review.、Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm thinking、uh, one word we could talk about what is valuable. Okay, we、uh, we saw in the pi one picture or one sentence it said、uh, valuable works of art. Now. One thing I want to say to students: when we, when a native English speaker says "valuable" very quickly, you don't hear "valuable." You usually hear "valuable,"、mm. just like "usually." Yeah, we say "usually." Okay,、mm. it's all there, but it's very quick. That's right.、Um, also, we hear the word "precious." A lot when we're talking about something being valuable. <clears throat> pardon me.、Um, valuable means it's worth a lot of money.、Mm. Okay. If it's precious, it could mean it's worth a lot of money. Like when we hear people say "precious jewels."、Mm. Okay. 贵重的珠宝 Yeah,、mm. jewel. J e w e l.、Um, that means it's expensive, but. It could also mean that it's important to me.、Mm -hmm. It has personal value.、Mm. Okay, so we could say, ah,、oh, you know, Lori's friendship is very precious to me.、Oh. It's very valuable to me. It's important to me. Maybe it's not worth any money,、mm -hmm. but it still has value to me. That's right. 好。所以呢，这边的话 ，Steve 老师帮我们补充的，第一个是 valuable， 它念的比较快的时候，那个 able 的呃会不见
啊、哦，这是第一个、嗯。第二个就是呢，补充了一个 precious 这个形容词。讲到 valuable 的话呢，是指说东西很贵重，价值很高。那么呢， precious 它除了可以当这样子的贵重啊、哦，比如像刚刚讲贵重的珠宝这个用法之外，另外 precious 呢，另外一个用法是对人有某种重大的意义，有这个重要性，嗯、所以对人一样有价值。虽然那个价值不是钱啊、哦 yeah. ，So could you please spell precious? Precious. P R E C I O U S. Thank you. And that's all the time we have for today. Bye bye. bye. 第五十四页，看图作文，爱自拍，下一秒就悲剧了。A selfie tragedy. One day, Sue went to a museum. Since she liked to take selfies, she definitely wasn't going to miss the great chance to take pictures with the valuable works of art. She spotted a beautiful vase that she wanted to snap a selfie with. In particular, what's more, she planned to post the photos on Instagram immediately and share them with her friends. She kept taking selfies and changing her poses. However, while posing for one shot, she suddenly lost her balance and knocked over the vase. The moment the vase broke into pieces, her face turned pale with fear. In the end, she had to pay a huge sum of money in compensation. She learned a painful lesson and will probably think twice before snapping a selfie again.